now is the perfect time for you to play Agile games with your teams. Just because you're remote doesn't necessarily mean you have to stop playing Agile games. In fact, I'm going to show you one tool here that's my favorite tool so far to play virtual Agile games or to facilitate most of the Agile games you know and love virtually. Uh, but if you're not familiar with the channel, I try to provide you awesome videos to help you help your teams, try to demonstrate the game to you. I try to provide links to the different instructions of the games that I'm showing you, as well as a retrospective where you can hear the value of what people are getting out of the game, and so that you can really understand how to implement this game in your context well. Uh, but that being said, if you're interested in this kind of content, <laughs> make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, the bell notification so that you're notified every time I upload a video. That being said, let's get started. So one of my favorite softwares for doing virtual agile games is Mural.co. And just like my virtual Cards Against Humanity uh, video, which you've not seen that, go check that out. My personal teams, as well as uh, the people I did it with in the video, loved it. And it was a hilariously fun and great experience. And we learned a few things as well. So there will be a card that pops up. Go check that out uh, here in a second. But my, again, my favorite app for doing virtual Agile games is Mural.co. And uh, here to help me with that, today is Alex Humphreys, and he's going to also be in the, uh, the room with us. So Alex, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, and by the way, his LinkedIn profile, if anyone's interested in checking him out, will be in the description below. Alex? Hi, James. Um, uh, thank you for inviting me to, uh, today. Um, well, my name is Alex Humphreys. I am a uh, project manager uh, by trait. I'm learning uh, Agile Scrum with James. Uh, he invited me to his game. Um, I have worked in the IT sector for many years, and I'm learning to incorporate that into my day-to-day. -day. And James has been facilitating that for me in a very great manner. Cool. Thanks, Alex. Uh, thanks for joining us. Alex is going to be the, what's the word they use this, uh, collaborator. So there's the facilitator in the software and the collaborator, as you can see up here. I am the facilitator, and you can see Alex is a collaborator over here as well. You can see who's online. Um, so yeah, this is mural.co. It's basically, if you've ever used Google Jamboards, it's part of a free Google account. You can use it in, uh, as long as you have a Google account, you can use it uh, through Google Drive. Uh, it's basically like Google Jamboards on steroids. And so I've created a template here that's going to be linked in the description below where you can uh, take my template and play these games with your teams. Uh, but just to go over the features real quickly, and uh, Alex, stop me if you have any questions. You are, the, of course, the, the voice of my viewer here. So, uh, but just to show you, of course, you can name the board here. Uh, this really is a Scrum Master's dream. You have uh, a timer for time boxes. Uh, you can start, and it will count down. And of course, you can add five minutes, you know, one minute, and stop the timer completely. Um, you can also start a voting session where each of us, I'll just name it session here, and uh, you can begin voting. It allows you to vote on different cards uh, here. So I, I can click on a sticky note and vote for it, vote for it, and vote for it. And uh, Alex, if you wanna do that as well, uh, you just click on a sticky note here. We'll see how it reacts whenever you do it as well. Are you in mural, Alex? Yes, I am. I'm in the first one up, upper left. That says number five. Number five. Oh, okay. So I can't see it. Uh, so that's interesting. I can't see what you're what you're doing. Uh, but go. I'm going to go ahead and end the voting session, and we'll see how it reacts. So you can see. Oh, you put all five on one. Gotcha. So I can see that. Alex put five votes here, and I've not used this particular feature before, but uh, it's very awesome. So you can see who's voted for what, and uh, unique voters, one unique voter, and this got five votes. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty awesome if you're gonna do dot voting or something like that. So I'm also, you can also go in here and then delete the voting session after you're done. Uh, that being said, this whole thing is mostly made up of uh, lines and, uh, 
sticky notes. You can have different kinds of sticky notes. You can put in titles uh, for the instructions. I used these over here, the text boxes. I don't want that text box to go away. And uh, do, 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 do. But you can add sticky notes. You can put in circles. You can, of course, type inside of them. Uh, but I don't want to do that because that's, those are made for the times for the penny game. But you can also add different, uh, you can make great flow charts here. I'll just show you real quick on the top of the penny game here. Um, let's zoom in a little bit more. Use left click to drag, by the way, and uh, alt scroll to zoom in. But this is really one of my favorite features. So you could just stick these two together and then move this around and it'll stay uh, together. And if you want to move them both, you just hold shift left click and drag. Oh, you're making me a liar, little dude. There we go. And you can just click left and drag and click. Anyways, that's, that's one of my favorite features about this. And of course you can uh, change the color of these guys as well. Uh, basically it's just a, a sticky note with a border. Uh, you can also add different icons as well if you're making some kind of presentation. Uh, but also, this comes with a lot built in. And so they have different agile templates you can start with for your retrospectives. Or I didn't mean to do that, actually. I just want that to go away. Um, do, 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 do. Just hit delete. Select it and hit delete. Uh, but yeah, so you have all these different um, tools out of the box to be able to help your businesses with, whether it's... Uh, different frameworks, boards, canvases, uh, calendars, et cetera. And of course you can put multiples of these uh, different templates on your board here. Um, as, is, as it is, I've created two here. Uh, but there's different layouts you can go with, et cetera. And then there's images. You can search for images like through stock art and let's say bell. Just gonna put in a bell here, just click drag it in, there's my bell, like, it's pretty awesome. And then if you have your own files, you can also import those as well from OneDrive, Dropbox, or your own computer. Uh, do, 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 do. But yeah, that's pretty much the software. And uh, also, you can see down here on the right, I can see that Alex is viewing the uh, the whole board as my board is up. I can see what I'm viewing here. And you can also see Alex, right? What I'm like when I move my screen around. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Cool. So it really helps to communicate where, you know, the presenter is looking and so forth. And if you ever get lost, you're like, man, I just can't left click or whatever. You can use the little hand right here just to move around. And, uh, you can zoom in and out as well as, you know, if you don't want to use your, uh, your scroll or if you don't have a scroll on your mouse for whatever reason. Uh, but this is the two games I've created for uh, anyone out there. And again, this temp the link to this template will be in the description below. But we have the penny game, which most people in Agile are familiar with. Alex, do you have experience with the penny game? Um, no, no, I don't. Oh, okay. Well, uh, this will be a good experience then. Yeah, so, wonderful. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. and uh, for those of, uh, like Alex, who have not, do you don't know the Penny game, it's a great game that helps to talk about constraints and bottlenecks. And uh, it's, it's a great, there's many things you can learn from it, actually. But anyways, a link to that uh, video will also be in the description that I've created for that game live, not virtual. Uh, so if you want to understand that game, you can go watch that video on my channel as well. Uh, or it might be a card popping up in the upper right here, uh, if I remember to do that. <laughs> so Alex, if you want to join me on this board up here in the upper left. So these are your pennies. And usually it takes about, uh, I want to say 10 people to play this game. There's usually a, a player for, uh, usually four players that are actually flipping pennies, a manager timing each person and the time it takes them to start and finish their work. And then a process timer, usually it's the, the manager, or the CEO at the end that uh, times the whole process all the way through from start to finish. And so those times at the end of every round go here and player one, two, three, and four, and then you start the next round. 
And so, of course, the process timer is starting from the, from the first penny flipped to the last penny uh, once it gets done. And so let's just, uh, let's just start real quick. So, Alex, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be player one, and you're going to be player two. And we're going to um, have to speed up here. <laughs> so uh, we might not have time for that, actually, Alex. <laughs> but you can uh, help me out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to demonstrate how something would be flipped. Instead of flipping a coin, because you can't physically flip a coin, what I've made here is so that you can change the color. So I'm going to change this color, slide it over to you, and then you can change the color and slide it over to player three. How about that? Just so we can demonstrate this real quick. So take the okay. purple one and change it to another color and flip it back. So this would be like round four in the in the thing. Yeah, you drag it to player three section, like in the square section. But yeah. And you might make a requirement of it has to be a certain color, or you might want to stick with black and black and white, or what have you, just to keep it simple. But uh, you could pick two strange colors if you really want to make it harder for your teams that are like on the opposite sides. Uh, you you can see how that how this game might work that way, and it's actually and getting used to the uh, changing of colors is not that once you get used to it, your first round might be. A little bit longer but after that you're going to fly and if you want to select multiples all you have to do is shift and left click uh your your coins to move them over together so if you're doing for instance round one in the penny game you need to uh you need to change all each individual's color and then shift all the coins over to the next person because of course the first round starts with 20 coins that you uh your batch size and the next is 10 then the next is five and the next is one and uh you'll have some a very interesting uh set of times over here to discuss later uh but you can see alex doing that so thank you alice for being a good demonstrator <laughs> i appreciate it no problem and uh the next is i don't know alex have you ever played the airplane game no, I have not, James. Okay. <laughs> so I have not either. It's on my list of uh, ones to cover here shortly. I, there's, there's a ton of it on YouTube, uh, but I have not done the video yet for the retro and everything. But uh, eventually when I do, it'll be linked up at the top. And so the airplane game is basically you it's to help you understand and demonstrate the power of time boxes uh, that a sprint makes for the heartbeat of an agile framework. And so it, really helps you to understand like what the sprint is, how it helps, and what this, what this cadence and heartbeat uh, is, is all about. And so instead of making airplanes, what I've done is, uh, if I go over here, you can use these objects to create houses. And you have a time box to see how many houses you can create as well. And uh, instead of the um, requirements of the airplane being flying a certain distance, we have the ability to change colors and you know mess with strokes and different stuff like that. So you can increase the requirements of a uh, of a house. So for instance, like if I drag this in here, this needs to be like this color green, and you know that's now a requirement for you know it needs to match this house. Um. So yeah, do you have any questions, Alex, or do you think the viewers are gonna have any questions with this? Um, just on this airplane game, so the the game is just to you know build houses with the uh, with the mural, or what is the um, concept of the air, airplane or house game? Yeah, so the if you come over here, I've got the instructions for both games on the side here, and so essentially each iteration of this game lasts nine minutes, and it's uh, instead of one fold at a time, um, you might want to ignore that part. I forgot to edit the instructions there, but Basically, uh, you need to put out one shape at a time. Don't copy and paste uh, the your houses once you get them done. Let's make one house. I'll just you know hit Control C, Control V, and copy a ton of them. That's cheating, guys. Uh, one shape at a time, and uh, make as many. Uh, you have three minutes for planning, three minutes to build uh, the actual houses, 
and then a three minute retrospective. And then you just keep this pad, of course, the, as soon as you end one sprint, you start the next one. And so you have these time boxes that help you to learn kind of quickly, figure out what to do next, and then you see how you can improve over time. And so, yeah, all the instructions are over here. Does that answer your question or? Perfect, James, I absolutely did. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, I'm sure once I do the airplane game uh, in real life, uh, this will probably make a little bit more sense. But again, the instructions are over here and still might be a good, uh, if you have a new team, it's new to Agile, or if your teams don't understand the, the use of a sprint, then this will, of course, be a great way to demonstrate that. Um, doo -doo -doo. But yep, you can also comment and... Uh, and chat while you're in here so I can type to Alex. Hi, Alex. So if you're of course having issues with um, different uh, people with their mics and so on and so forth, uh, you can of course, one of the reasons I love this tool as well is that you can uh, get specific content from Jira, GitHub, et cetera. But you can also export this as a template or publish it as a template to use over and over and over again. So uh, you can copy, of course, my template that I'm going to leave in the description below. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm not sure this will stay free, but uh, Mural is extending their free accounts. This is currently on a free account. And Mural, if you're listening, I'd love to be sponsored by you. <laughs> but uh, I'm not, this video is not sponsored by Mural. I'm just an avid fan of their of their work here, and uh, but they're extending their free accounts from 30 days to 90 days uh, for the period of time that everyone's in their been restricted to their homes. So it's a great uh, thing they're doing. I really appreciate that to, uh, about them to them to help stimulate the economy and keep things going. Uh, it's been a great tool to be able to share with you guys. Um, make sure to share this with your uh, with your virtual friends and uh, make sure to keep on learning guys. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to smash that like button. Thanks so much for watching.